last several years, we have worked very hard at perfecting our game when it comes to the outcomes in cardiac arrest resuscitative efforts. Uh, we all know we are one of the best in the country. We're proud to, to boast about that. Our data shows it, and you, you know it every day as you're working on the streets of Hillsborough County, Florida. So as you know, when we're working on a cardiac arrest patient or during a rapid sequence induction, our protocol calls for us to have our monitors set in paddles mode and you apply the fast patches to the patient. Those fast patches have a slight electrical current that runs between the two of them. You don't feel it, but what that current does is it allows the reviewer to see through what's called an impedance channel any chest wall movement. In this case, we'll be analyzing what actually occurred during the event. In this case, it would be chest compressions, ventilations, apneic windows during rapid sequence induction. So from the time you paralyze the patient and you're in there performing laryngoscopy until the time we actually see that first bag valve mask ventilation, hoping to keep that window 30 seconds or under, you'll be able to judge exactly how long that is. This is very powerful technology and we strongly believe that you are going to be a much harder critic of yourselves than we would be when reviewing these films. So all of the stations now have the software, the CodeStat 9 update, that allows you to actually look at the event and review it and tailboard with your team members. Okay, so let's get started with how we're gonna go about looking at this file. You're gonna to go to the Physio Rhythm Strip graphic interface on document. You will then click on the file and it will open just like you see here. Now you can see the PCO files open. My mouse is in the upper left hand corner and I've clicked on show CPR cases. Now I've turned it off. I'm clicking it on and off. You notice that it get, there's a green overlay that goes over the intrinsic underlying rhythm. That green overlay, that is your impedance channel. Now if you notice, I'm taking the mouse and I can drag the whole file really at high speed and I can go through and skate through this call, clean, through, clean this call, if you will, in just a matter of minutes, looking for those pauses in compression. You can see I've got a built-in pause there. I've now turned the overlay off, now back on, and we're jumping between manual and auto pulse CPR on these images. Your goal as you start playing with these files is really look for the big gaps look for the things that stick out you don't need to micromanage every single waveform and interpret them although in time you're going to be able to right there you're looking at a ventilation a nice one that was a pediatric bag valve mass ventilation which follows our protocol you can see that little waveform uh, as the chest wall rises up uh, moving further down the tracks here on this call uh, again, looking for pauses in compression, things that stick out that shouldn't be there. And the big ones are pauses in, in compression, ineffective too fast, too shallow, too slow, manual CPR, um, incidents where the auto pulse stops and we have a big gap, incidents where you go to defibrillate, and that's why we want you hovering now, where you pre-charge your monitor, hands clear from the patient if you're doing manual CPR, you shock and immediately begin manual CPR all over again. You keep that stop shock period down to about five seconds. And the whole time in going through and cleaning this call should take you anywhere from one to three minutes. Once you're done, make some good notes, get together with your teammates, and then at that point, I think it's an opportunity for you to discuss what everyone thought went right and possibly what might have gone wrong or that you could do better in the future. And I think everyone, the key to success with these things is for everyone to be open to it. Now I'm scrolling through, there's a button that has a heart on it. I click on it and it's showing me a summary of all the strokes that occurred during the CPR event or the, the cardiac arrest event in a minute by minute line. And everywhere you see a gap, that's a pause in compression. Pauses are bad. If the heart is not beating, a la your CPR, then the patient is not getting blood flow. So anyway, wrapping it up, this is an introductory primer to reading the PCO files. Start playing with these, start analyzing your cardiac arrest, and I suspect you're gonna to start to see some better outcomes. Thanks much, and remember, every day is a training day.